I like I like Hot and Field actually. I'm the weirdo that actually likes Hot and Fields. Everyone calls me a weirdo because I like that map. We're gonna explain why Hot and Fields good for Huntress. So you see all these lanes? These are bowling lanes. These are free hits. Every single time a survivor goes into a bowling lane, it isn't that bad. The thing is, they've also removed around like four different window vaults on this map. So you can't combine pallet to window, pallet to window like you used to anymore. She's playing a little bit greedy. The only thing that sucks about Haddonfield is the main building. Everything else is out mine gameable. So you see, the, 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 this window is a god window. That's the only house you need to drop a chase on, and you're golden. Nice. Kind of mindless running. Ooh, these streets, they can still dodge. But these lane, like, the lanes with fences on them are really, really good for Huntress. Why do Huntress mains throw hatches up close? Because the cooldown is faster than M1-ing. Um, that's the thing. So, you, you down them faster, actually. By doing so. And then, you also preserve hatchets by M1-ing the second time. Correct. All the- every single car on Haddonfield can be thrown over. Every single fence can probably be- well, not every single fence. If they're up close and humping it, it's really difficult. But the benches, the cars, the obstructions in the center, they all can be thrown through. Um, house- any house that's not the basement house is a fair house. Plus the removal of four windows makes this map not that bad. This building sucks as well, though. Okay. These are not safe. Whew. Oh my goodness, the trucks aren't even safe. Not well. These are the ones with the boxes in the back. You just have to know when to drop the chase. It is a slight chance you're not insane. It's it's an old belief that this map is bad for Huntress. It's like very... To me, it's a medieval belief. See? It's just very simple. Clean. All that stuff. You're saboing that. A lot of winning has to do with just playing smart. Clean play, clean hatchets, means clean wins. We aren't all gods too, Coco. Someone's already dead. I didn't mean to do that. But I mean, she's playing the cards too much. In, all, in a way, all maps have pros and cons, how you play them, that you're able to win. Yeah, exactly. You just need to exploit the weakness on every single map. It's just about a matter of finding the weakness that the survivors have to every single map. And this is the semi-dead zones. Every single car is basically a dead zone. And there's pallets all over them, like littered all over them. You're lucky this many gents on the ground floor too as well. Yeah, that's true. They don't play the buildings as much. The buildings aren't that bad if you know how to throw hatchets while falling. I know that sounds crazy. But if you can drop shot, it isn't half that bad. What's up? She's overthinking herself. In a different world, I'd have to push up, but you just read her. 
It, some survivors just get overly paranoid and they just act too impulsively. Play around the weakness and avoid the bad spots. Yeah, this, avoid this like the plague when you're playing hot and fields. Um, avoid this one like the plague. These two buildings, they're very, very harsh buildings. But if you get this pallet down, it can be good. Let's restock. You just forgot where the killer is and you run like a headless chicken. That's where a spine shell helps out so much if you run that. You got three gens up top and one in the basement there. We're trying to just establish pressure in areas where we can control the map. Ah, okay. She was pretty deep in the lane. I'm trying to make sure her spine shot doesn't go off so we get a nice bowling shot on her. It's okay. Thanks. She knows she's screwed on the fences, so she goes into a locker instead. Or she wants to just DS us. That too. Early drop. This is too much. Too risky. Forgot where the killer is, and you run like da -da, you spine chill, but you're a horrible survivor and killer. Uh, it's just something that's going to take a lot of time. A little bit of practice, and you'll be good. Good job. I know there's a great wall of China. Good job. She knows she goes to the right, she's screwed, because she saw what the fence looks like on the other side. So she's forced to go this way. You just play it so that you checkmate them a lot, a whole bunch. Good. I think I have to drop her. They're playing Sabo Squad, but it's not really doing anything for them because they already have someone that's dead already. They're just kind of stalling the inevitable. You have uh, your moments, and sometimes you have bad days. Gotchi, hands up. Gotchi, hands up. Here we go. Okay, Nia, I have no idea where you're going. Hello? Did I beat Jump King? No, we didn't. Not yet. Okay? Soon. Soon, TM. I want one of the survivors to run upstairs so I can show you what drop shots look like. Drop shots are really easy hunter shots to hit. So when you're trying to down survivors that run these buildings, they have the stagger effect. And that makes them slower. So these shots all should be free downs, if you know how to, how to do them properly. If the only way they outskill you is like balance landing, or they keep running the building. In any case, you'll hear the wood boards and just go back inside the house. I'm doing an educational hot and field uh, match because I got a. Did you give up? Yes. Thing is, you can also use these windows. I already gave away my position, but windows are really good for nice needle threads. These lanes are really good. Oh, some good stuff. Filthy tunneler. Yeah. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Toxic killer. What? This is, this, this is a... <laughs> no, 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 no. No mutiny. You're likely to this way. Oh, she's on the hatch. I played that poorly. I should have known the hatch was here. I saw it. 
It's okay. <laughs> Haddonfield's not that bad of a map for Huntress. You really just need to know what to do. 